Hello guys, in this video, I will give an overview of JGiven framework. JGiven basically is a behavior driven development and it enables the tester to write test case in a readable format. The essence or the crux of this JGiven framework revolves around three keywords given, when, and then. I'll just show one by one so like as i told earlier when we create an app this different projects get created here so in the ui automation when you launch when you install this using the one clean install and when you launch it using intelligia it will always by default show this structure main and sample main will have the main class which will call all the test suit which are written under the sample and then sample will have steps and this particular test script so if you expand this you can see that there are three classes which are defined here with the given then and when keyword in it so these are called stage classes j given has these three different stages given when and then so we'll see how to write test case in this new fashion it is pretty simple it just have a couple of things that we need to keep in mind so the first thing is let me open the test script so this is this test typical test script written using a jgiven format you can see everything is same just that it extends from the ui based test and here in the in this bracket there are three values passed given when and then these are basically the names of this various stage classes so this is how this ui based test class is extended so this is the first thing you have to remember that we always have to pass these three stage classes name. Rest everything is same. The initial declaration, the init before class, the way we do it for the typical test case writing. And then while writing actual test case, we can see how it makes the difference. So given basically is used to signify that what it, what exactly is my test precondition. So let's just say a simple scenario that you log in to the task manager app and then you perform certain steps, say create a request with data and then you actually verify whether that task request is created or not. So the first step is my test precondition. The second is my actual test actions and third is my test verification. So you can see how easily I can distinguish between this test case. Another benefit is when this test case is executed, this method names which are de declared here will be converted into a plain English format. So like you can see that I have used underscores and the dollar sign. So the purpose of this is, this is like a typical function name, just that underscore will be replaced by the space so that it appears like a plain English in the test report. Also, this dollar signifies that whatever test data was used during the execution will be shown here in the place of dollar. So the report would look something like this given login as T manager when see you can see the underscore has been replaced by the space and the dollar sign has been replaced by this data values. So basically this is to improve the readability of the test report. Another thing is this all methods remain same. It's just that login has been defined in a given place, a given class. So if I say F3 in the test UI given state, I have defined this method. Everything remains same the way we define any function or a method. Just that we have to ensure that particular method in a stage class always returns self and always has a return type as that of class. Another thing. So let's just say the next step when create a request with data 
so if you look at this method this method is declared in the when class even the given when and then this template classes are already provided here with the skeleton required you just need to straight away get to the writing actual methods like it is extending from another base UI test given and when stage class is also extending from base UI test when class we need not worry about this thing this will be this is a basically a j given nomenclature you can say so as i was saying this is the method create a request request with data so now here i want to deal with create a request view or a page so here i'm instantiating a page as you can see i'm straight away writing this driver instance so driver is already initialized in base ui test main class so i need not worry about this i can straight away use it and then I'm calling these various methods as I would otherwise call in the function. Just that, as I said earlier, it should always return self and the return type 2 should always be same as that of class. Uh, return type would nothing but the class name. Also, another thing, it might happen that I might want to use certain variables across the given when and then classes. Like for example here, once I create a request and once I click on the save, it will load a new page, say task manager console. Now I'm initializing it here, but this instance will be used in then class. So basically I want to access the same state of this variable in the then class as well so how do i do that how do i access the scenario state or the variable state in between this stage classes so it is very simple all we have to do is wherever since i'm instantiating this variable here for the first time in this main class I have declared the variable here task manager console and as you can see I have written this annotation called scenario state so this is how you can retain the scenario state so now if I want to use this variable which is instantiated here in given or then class all I have to do is let's just open that copy the same declaration with the same annotation again that is it and then you can access it directly it is it is not just limited to the page classes but any variable that you want to access it across the stage classes just put scenario state annotation before I think that's pretty much it about the J given it might look little overhead to maintain these three different classes but it will only prove fruitful in long run because it would avoid lot of repetitive steps a lot of time it happens that for many test cases the precondition remains the same and we just end up copy pasting the same steps again and again but with this J given framework we can have just one common method declare in the given and reuse it across the test cases same for when and then as well we can put all the verification methods in the then and when can only contain the actual test steps